Body language expert, behavior analyst Greg Hartley joins us now. Good to see you, uh, as always, Greg. I was kind of fascinated by watching the three of them on stage interact together. Um, we'll start with President Biden and what you were seeing in that moment there. Well, you can't miss this guy has aged, clearly. I mean, he's 80-plus years old, and you can see that his, his communication style has dropped off a fair amount. But even then, the human body is trying to punctuate what the brain is trying to say. And you can watch him using illustrators. Even though his words are not coming, his illustrators are trying to make the point of this probably very well-scripted story he's going to use that he's told over and over and over. There are really five pieces of body language, and one of those is illustrators, and that's what we're seeing his hands do. So the, the hands are the illustrating. He was sort of getting getting to the punchline um, there. Yeah. We'll we'll now look at and, and this is important because in this case they none of them as far as we could hear. I mean they were talking amongst themselves and we couldn't hear them when the words. Um, all three presidents, uh, Biden, Obama, and Clinton, as they walked into this big fundraiser. So we'll play the clip and then get your thoughts on each one. <laughs> I guess that would be the the end as the curtain came down. But yeah. what would you make of it? So I always say the organism does what made the organism successful. That doesn't always mean that it's a healthy kind of success. In their case, clearly it has been to get them to as far as they've gone. But watch Clinton connect with the audience. That's his power, his superpowers, connecting with people. Watch, watch Obama act really cool and dis connected. That's been his thing. But watch Biden. He's standing not sure what to do and then raises his hand and starts trying to do what he typically does. Biden has really two things that I've watched his whole life, and those are, come on, man, and now look. And that now look thing is when he puts both hands up and he's driving. Come on, man's when he's challenging. This is him just standing there kind of awkwardly waiting. These are the two cooler kids in the room, I think, is part of it. Yeah, the two cooler kids, the two younger kids, the two more popular kids. And, and there was a lot of yeah. discussion, I know, among Democrats about whether or not creating that juxtaposition, um, especially for not only their donors, but for the, the press that's undoubtedly going to cover this, how good of an idea that was. Maybe they felt um, like they didn't have a choice. The split screen, obviously, yesterday, and we covered this a lot um, in terms of the politics of it, was President Trump showed up at the wake of an NYPD officer who had been killed uh, in the line of duty by a career criminal. He spoke outside of the funeral home. Take a listen. And this is what happened is such a sad, sad event, it's such a horrible thing, and it's happening all too often, and we're just not going to let it happen. We just can't 21 times arrested this thug. All right. This would be my question. Is there anything in Trump's body language that says he cares about anything other than himself and how he's being seen by the media as he's delivering these remarks? Well, typically, I think of Trump as all up here. His hands are all up, moving around. Those illustrators we were talking about before have been his stock in trade and what he's done. Here we see his hands in his pockets. Maybe it's coaching, but certainly his energy level is low, which is very appropriate for the situation mm -hmm. he's in. His tone of voice has changed. Everything about him is moving more slowly. We associate that with sadness and with feeling. Now, he does move his hands a little, but he also doesn't bring them up. So... It looks good for him. I've said before, he has changed fundamentally how he's signaling as he moves into the second election, third election. Yeah. No, it's, it's, a, very, it's a very different Donald Trump um, in, in many ways. And clearly, eight years of age has made him a lot different than in 2016 as well. Greg, this is always a fascinating uh, segment, also one of our highest rated. So we always appreciate you being here. Thank you. Real pleasure. Thank you, Lee. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.